Hey, Tom, so most MSPs that I know are going to look at the Backsite platform and say, this is awesome, but a measure of a relationship between a, a vendor and an MSP is not when things are going right, but when things go wrong. So um, what does the support system look like for Backsite? How are you supporting MSPs? Uh, yeah, absolutely. And I love that you break up that um, that metric. Yeah, we do a lot of things right, but how um, how we're really valued is what happens when things go wrong. You and I are very much human beings. We know that technology doesn't always work. Um, you know, th th things do um, you know happen within that. So we do offer 24-7, 365 days support um, very globally at this time. Uh, whether you're awake or asleep, somebody at Pax8 is awake and online, ready to respond um, to those emails, to those phone calls. You can always call in and have a chat with us, have a, a real live human being involved in that. Uh, but again, you know, making that process very, very easy to get in communication with us um, when that event does occur. Um, so within the Pax8 platform itself, we've got kind of two ways to open up a support ticket. Uh, I can hit my question mark up here at the top, navigate all the way uh, halfway down here to these support tickets. Um, or as well, we've added a shortcut recently here on the bottom left side in which we can just click directly into our support dashboard. Uh, and I can see there an aggregated metric of kind of all of my companies, all of the tickets. Uh, you can see almost, you know, statuses, things like that, open, closed. Uh, you'll see a couple of pendings. Um, and then very much as well, you can kind of drill down into specific companies. And so, you know, as, as we volume up the subscriptions, we may have, you know, multiple tickets open for the same company. Um, you can see there are a couple of open tickets. I've got one pending there. Um, but then, yeah, opening up that new ticket, telling us uh, that you need some help shouldn't be an arduous process. It should be very, very simple. Uh, create new ticket up here at the type. Uh, you know, what kind of issue is it? Um, you know, maybe we need some support. Um, you know, what are we dealing with? Is this something that's built in arrears? Is it a one-time charge? Uh, is it something with the API? Um, or is it one of our standard subscriptions there? Um, you know, who is this going to be for? And so I can go ahead and, you know, search across all of my companies. Maybe I am still working with my John Ten here. Um, great. And if we do have to open up a, a new support ticket, um, you know, that process should be very, very easy on our end here. Uh, we can go ahead and hit create new ticket up here at the top. Um, and then we'll ask for some details about that. So what kind of issues are we facing? Um, you know, are we just checking for an order status? Um, you know, but we do need support. So we're going to go ahead and select that. Um, you know, what kind of product are we working with here? Is that going to be a one time? Is it arrears based? Um, you know, or, or is it just kind of a standard subscription, a hard seat count there? Um, you know, who is this uh, subscription for? So very much, um, you know, inside of that, we need to know which company uh, amongst those many this is for. Um, and then down to and including which specific subscription that we're dealing with. So we can see some EOP ones there that I've got on file for my subscriptions. Um, and then again, who, who should we contact? So should we contact the, uh, the billing administrator about this? Do we contact the, the technical folks about this? Is it a, uh, is a very high level question as well? Do, do we need to get um, you know, somebody in charge of the, the whole business on the horn there? Um, again, you know, we're collecting all this information up front so that we don't have to play email ping pong back and forth there in order to, to get those uh, you know, necessary details. Um, let us know how you know, severely this is impacting your business. If this is you know, mission critical stuff, definitely let us know. We do take that stuff into account. Um, you know, preferred contact method, um, you know, email is great just because we do collect things like screenshots, um, you know, very much helps our, our backend teams um, analyze that when we can collect that data via email. Uh, never be afraid to, to call us for, for help at Pax8. So again, yeah, 24 hours are always online for it. Um, you know, maybe I could do something, you know, very simple, uh, you know, emails not flowing, uh, give us a nice description about that um, email not flowing inside of there, um, you know, kind of flesh that out. Um, I always tell partners, yeah, write me a novel, don't tweet me, um, give us more information where we can always sift through it but rather than some minimal stuff there. Um, you know, we can always CC any stakeholders involved into this. And so whether there's other technicians or, um, you know, finance or billing admins involved, we can, um, of course, keep them updated. Um, and then, of course, documentation, things like that, again, give us those um, screenshots, tell us exactly what's going on so that when we receive that ticket, we can just go, we can just jump right into that um, solve for it. So very, very easy to curate all that. Uh, we can go ahead and submit that. Uh, you can see there a, a new ticket has been submitted, um, you know, and, and then very much so we, we are able to, to go inside of here, um, you know, find that existing ticket and then manage that going forward. So in terms of response rates, how quickly can we expect Paxite to respond to tickets that are raised via email here? Uh, sure. So very rapidly is how uh, technical I'll get with that. We don't have official SLAs in place, uh, but I, I know we're among the world's leaders for doing it. This isn't one of those email us on Thursday and hope to hear back by Monday. Um, you're going to hear back 
in on Thursday. You're going to hear back that morning or that evening, um, very much so. And it's not going to just be a ticket received. It's going to be a, this is what we expect to happen. We've seen this 10 times already this week. Here's the quick solve. Um, you know, and as far as those hard numbers, I can talk about that and uh, do a little bit of bragging for our support team. So we are up to an 85% solve rate for all tickets to come through PAX 8. Um, you know, in layman's terms, that means more than four out of every five tickets that are open with PAX 8, we solve in-house with our in-house support team. Again, 24-7, globally-based support team here, um, you know, and on that rare occasion that we can't solve something, maybe it is something truly with, with the back end or something with an API that got pushed by a vendor, um, let us leverage those relationships. Let us escalate that on your behalf um, so you're not calling the 1-800-HELP-ME line and then just going in circles on that standard support experience that, um, you know, unfortunately, we, we've all been privy to. So definitely lean on us for support. Um, and again, no charge to do this. This is something that's included with our um, partnership with Pax8 is you do get access to our 24-hour support. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll do our best to go ahead and solve that in-house um, and again, escalate the, the, the things, uh, you know, for you if we are unable to take care of it. Very, very cool indeed. Thanks, Tom. 